In this video we will show you, how to make a 3D building model using Undet for AutoCAD and Point Cloud Data. Here we have Undet project of a fairly regular rectangle shaped church which is perfect for basic 3D modeling demonstration. We will start from building walls. To draw walls, we will create view section throughout whole building. This section should be a little bit above floor level. Since our building only have one level we will draw all external walls at once. Then we will create UCS so that our walls will be perpendicular. After you make yourself a section, simply follow outline of external walls. Once we complete drawing walls we will adjust elevation value of building walls and place them to correct position. After that we will use 3D modeling tool and extrude them to correct height according to point cloud information. So easy part is done, and now we have our model walls. We will apply realistic view to see how our modeled walls look next to point cloud data. Our next step will be to model building roof. To be able to do it we will have to create new UCS. So in this case I will use UCS by object function, since we just drawn walls and our roof will be aligned to our walls. We will use UCSMAN command and save this UCS because we will model a lot of elements which will be on different planes, so we will use a lot of different coordinate systems. We recommend to save UCS every time you create new one. So now once we have correct UCS and we will be able to model on the same plane that our roof is, we will start by drawing outline of it. To be able to draw correct outline we should create new view section in which we will have best view of our roof. After outline is completed, once again we will use 3D modeling tool. This time it will be extrude, we will extrude our element to correct length according to point cloud data. At this point we can say that majority of our 3D modeling workflow is specifying correct UCS, drawing element that we need, and then using 3D modeling options to shape that element. So now we will go ahead and model some elements in higher detail level. We will start with this column. To be able to make most accurate model, try to work with view sections that have green indicator as much as possible, since it means that you are seeing all points. So now we will hide all other modeled elements and we will create new view section for our column. After that we will create new UCS and save it, as we would do for any other object that we want to model. Once again we will use UCSMAN command. We chose to detail column, because it has a lot of shapes changes and it is if we are talking about details, that is what matters. So the idea of creating detailed column is to draw every element from the bottom to the top, and we will start by drawing circle. Since this element will require a lot of view section adjustment we will use two viewports. So now we will draw circle every time there will be change in our column. And we will lift that drawn object to correct level. As you can see we already have a lot of circles, and it is just a bottom part of column, but it is important to adjust view section and draw every piece of it while seeing best possible view of it. Every time we draw new circle we adjust elevation of it, so it will be in correct place.
After we have every column element drawn, we will use another 3D modeling tool which is Loft. It will allow us to make solid column from all drawn elements. As you can see our column is getting solid shape. So after we loft every drawn element and join it to single solid 3D structure, we have high detail level column. We will apply shaded with edges view, and we will see how our solid column looks with point cloud data on top of it. Next thing that we will show you will be some vaults right next to columns. To create those vaults we will have to draw a new rectangle to represent our ceiling. We will adjust that rectangle element level, and place it right above our column since it is place where our ceiling starts. So now we will extrude this element and we will have solid ceilings, but we will hide this element right away since we need to model those vaults. We will repeat same steps as we did with ceilings element, we will draw rectangle, lift it to correct place and extrude it. Now we will use another 3D modeling tool which is fillet edges. So once we have clear point cloud view, let's go ahead and fillet those edges to create form a vault. Once we have correct form a vault we will subtract this element from our ceiling element, and now we have first vault in our ceiling. We will go ahead and apply remaining vaults in the same manner. So using those few 3D modeling tools, you will be able to make 3D model of most elements, as long as you will create new UCS for elements that are on different planes, and as long as you will adjust or create new view section to see best point cloud data view, following these steps you will be able to model most of objects. From this point it is up to you and your needs about how detailed you want your model to be. As you can see in our example we detailed roof elements. We added relatively small detailed objects in our roof elevation. And as you can see all of those elements were modeled and placed precisely according to point cloud data. If you have any questions about basic 3D modeling or any other Undet for AutoCAD functionality send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.